In this video, I'm going to make a full tutorial how you can play Medieval Empires, the crypto game, the Web3 game that we all love to play. I am personally absolutely addicted and let's just get straight into it. I want to show you how to play. Step number one, as always, is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course, and click the notification bell. When that's done, let's talk about Medieval Empires. First of all, what is it? Well, Medieval Empires is a multiplayer strategy game that is based on the Polygon network. The players will take on the role of Ertugul Ghazi, a legendary warrior leading his tribe into an epic conflict against the English Crusaders. The game can be played on Mac and Windows and will be available for mobile very, very soon. Shh very soon. Your journey in the game begins with managing a small village in Turkey's frontier region. Here you can see my village um, as an example. You will need to construct your town, establish trade networks, form alliances and fight for survival and dominance in a harsh and um, challenging historical time period. The game also has a peaceful PVE area where you can focus on growing your town and defending it from invasions. Uh, land ownership is a key aspect of the game and you can become a landowner by acquiring NFTs. So personally, I am a landowner. I've bought right now four NFT lands. If you want to buy a uh, land, I will show you in this video how to do so. And uh, being a landowner means that you can actually make money over time by taxing people on your land, which is beautiful, beautiful. Right now I'm making actually taxes passively from people playing on my land. So being a landowner gives you uh, huge advantages. So you can take different paths in the game by either fighting different tribes continuously or building your empire peacefully by engaging in trade with other players. And you can also exchange some goods using cryptocurrency. Um, number one step is to go below this video at the very top of the description is to click on that link Then you can sign up to medieval empires and start playing this uh, game So let me just go through how to do this and then uh, like step by step so that it's very easy for you to to start playing Me and Da Vinci are playing every single day. We're having so much fun. Uh, so if you guys want to join us very cool. And there are also options to join my land, by the way, and Da Vinci's land. Uh, but more about that later in the video. So to sign up, you go to the website, link below. You can log in with your email and password. And if you don't have an account yet, click on create account. You just need to enter your email, create a strong password and click on create account. After this, you will get an account verification email to the email address you have provided. And then you need to verify it first to complete your login procedure. Next, in account settings, you can see your ID. Click here and enter your player name and then click on save. To change your password, click here on change password. Click on connect wallet here and choose your wallet to connect. After your wallet is connected, click on link to profile and confirm. You will see your wallet address displayed under the linked wallets section. How to download this? Let's talk about that. So once you've logged in, you can download the game either for Windows or for Mac. For example, in this case, click here on download for Mac. Once that's done, you need to go through the installation process. After this, you will have the application on your computer. Click on the application icon and the game will start. First of all, it's very interesting to see, right, that we can play this uh, crypto game together online and it's ready to play. It's very, very different from other crypto games right now that are still just a, uh, an idea, you know. So um, I'm super, super proud of being a big, big investor uh, and a partner here because I... I'm uh, fully involved with Medieval Empires and uh, I, I, I am the biggest investor actually. So uh, personally, I'm super proud of the team to see that uh, we've come this far with the game. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, talk more about how to, to play now. In Medieval Empires, different regions are available on the world map and each region has different town slots where you can settle. You need one slot for your own town and you can rent out the rest. So the number of tenants allowed will vary depending on the land from four town slots to maximum of 16 slots. Uh, obviously, if you buy land, it's it's nice to have a land with many slots, but they, they're a little bit more expensive. You can claim one of these town slots by buying me tokens and then staking them. The amount of tokens needed varies depending on the desired tier. As long as the tokens are staked, access will be granted 
it is the easiest way to join forces in medieval empires because you don't need an invitation from a landowner or to invest in a land uh, NFT. The only thing you need to have now is the Me token. Me is the official utility token of medieval empires and it is right now available on Bybit, the number two exchange in the world after Binance. Uh, so medieval empires is available on Bybit and Bybit is by the way uh, a very strong partner of uh, medieval empires they formed a partnership not long ago so super 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 bullish to buy the me token you click on my link in the description to sign up to bybit with my link you make kyc on bybit you can get up to thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus on bybit right now and then you can use this to buy the me tokens you just need to put your uh, email address create a strong password and this way you have your bybit account after this you need to deposit some money to buy the me token to buy the me token you click here on the search bar and type MEE -E. select this one right here me against USDT which will take you to the corresponding trading interface here you can see the different types of orders click here on market add the order value right here and you can use the handy percentage bar confirm your order details and click on buy me the land in medieval empires game is crucial to stats in the game um, it will be sold through NFT marketplaces using the Polygon network. You can also buy your own land NFT from the game's land NFT collection on OpenSea with a starting price of uh, 0.32 ETH. Each land slot differs in taxes on rewards and progress, of course. You can see all of the differences on the land on OpenSea. But access to town slots in the game can also be obtained in various ways. You can play the complete game for free if you get an invite by a a landowner to play on his land uh, for example I've invited some of my friends to my land so they're playing actually for free some of them but you can also find my land invites on the open contracts but then there's gonna be a small tax I will show you later in the game so how to play the actual game once you are all set up, you have your Bybit account, you bought the Me token, you now have uh, downloaded the game. Let's talk about how to move forward. There are three main types of tasks in Medieval Empires. First, general tasks involve activities like gathering resources and defeating enemies in the town. Next, daily missions consist of simple objectives such as killing invaders or collecting resources or more involved tasks that follow a short storyline. Lastly, story missions revolve around building and upgrading structures, training units and heroes, fighting battles and healing units. For different statistics in the game, you have the leaderboard here. Click here and you can see all the top players and clans. As you can see right now, um, this is my ranking. And if you scroll here, you can see Da Vinci is right there. And you can see uh, some of the team members of the game are playing. And uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of people that have signed up in the past few weeks here to play uh, the game. And if you want to sign up and play right now, then I'll see you guys on the leaderboard. I am right now trying to get on the top 10. Uh, because I want to ultimately be in the top three, but it's very tough because the, the, there are some people playing right now that are absolutely killing it in the game, and I, I honestly don't know who they are, and I honestly have no clue how they're able to to get so much uh, points. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But it just goes to show that many people are really enjoying the game. I'm playing every single day. Da Vinci is playing every single day. So the fact that we're not even in the top 10 is just mind-blowing to me. But And let me know in the chat, if any of you are, are already playing, let me know which rank are you right now. So settling up a town is a crucial part of building your empire in the game. So this is how your town looks at the beginning. Not, ve uh, not well developed and just generating a few resources. You can see the level of your town right over here. It will increase by upgrading your city's town hall. To start building your empire, you can build a lumber mill over here, for example, and you can see how long it will take right there. You can also check how much silver, wheat, wood or ore you have. To unlock higher achievements, you can upgrade any building in your town. Click on the building and then click on upgrade. It will open an upgrade window that lists all the requirements such as resources and dependencies on other buildings. If you don't have enough of a required item or if it is not at the right level, it will be marked in red. Once all requirements are met, you can upgrade instantly or with time 
depending on your preference. Remember, upgrading a building instantly will cost you silver or speed ups. It is very, very easy to get silver. Uh, you have to buy silver. I will show you later in the tutorial how to buy silver. Besides the extension of your town, building an army to fight against invaders and conquer encounters is a crucial part of medieval empires. Each army is led by a hero. When you begin training a new hero in the town, you need resources, silver tokens and time. Once the training is completed, the hero is created and can be used in the game. The game includes various, uh, various heroes, each with unique abilities that enhance gameplay. These abilities are divided into three types. Personal, Hero Leader and Hero Active. You can upgrade the single unit to make the army stronger. You need to choose an existing unit or a hero to upgrade it. To ensure that your hero does not have to go into battle alone, you can provide him with a limited number of additional units. In Medieval Empires, there are three types of units available. Each unit is created in a specific building, barracks for infantry, archery range for archers and stables for cavalry. Units have a set appearance name, stats and durability when they are created. Armies can be set to attack targets on a region map. If you send out your army, take care of the level of the invaders. If you attack enemies with a too high level, you, uh, your offensive might fail. After the battle, you will receive a report and your heroes and units will lose durability and need time to recover based on the lost hit points. If you win a battle, you will receive rewards. If a unit or hero loses all of their HP during a battle, they will not die. But you won't be able to use them until they have fully recovered in the hospital. Healing units or heroes in a hospital um, is free and doesn't require any resources, but it will take time. And if you want to make it faster, then you can upgrade your hospital or you can build more hospitals. You can actually retire units or heroes and receive rewards for their progress in the game. You can also send your armies to encounter on the region map to farm additional resources. Uh, after it's retired, you cannot use it again. Um, how to stake me? Let's talk about that. So. The me token is the big thing. With the me token, you get huge benefits in the game. Right now, certain benefits in the future, many, many, many more. Me token holders will be greatly, greatly rewarded in the game. I am personally a huge me token holder, of course, and I have staked my tokens in the game to get VIP status. You can also stake some of your tokens on uh, Bybit to get an APR, which I will show you also later in the video. But let's talk about staking in the game first of all. To stake me, just open the, um, the settings in the game and click on stake for VIP and it will take you to this page. Connect your wallet on which you hold your me tokens and select the VIP status you want to reach. Here you can see the benefits you will get by staking your me. Remember your staked me token will be, on, uh, will be locked for 30 days. If the staking has been successful, you will see your VIP rank in the game. So right here you can see my beautiful village, you can see my hospitals, you can see all of my different things that I'm, uh, that I'm building. And um, if you want to join the game, link is down below like I said. Um, and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. If you want to stake your meat tokens on Bybit, which you can do to get an APR, uh, just click over here, over on Bybit. You go over to this page, and then all of the instructions are very, very easy to follow. Um, and um, you can stake your meat tokens. Um, it's up to you how many meat tokens you want to stake. But um, me and my friends are staking full VIP uh, because I want to win. I want to be number one in the game, guys. Let's see if I can reach number one. First step is to reach level or uh, top 10. I think I will do it very, very soon uh, if I keep playing. Let's see. Uh, let me know in the chat uh, or in the comments what you think about the game. Uh, like I said, if you want to buy the me token, it's over on Bybit. Link is down below. If you use my link, you can get up to $30,000 on Bybit and um, see you on the, on the battlefield and see you on the leaderboard. And if you wanna go and uh, subscribe to Medieval Empires YouTube channel, you can go and check this video here. Uh, Medieval Empires is trying to reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube right now. Check it out, many tutorials over there. See you, bye.